Hi, my name is Chris. I'm happy to give you an introduction into the pathways to digital manufacturing that are being developed by the Connected Factories Coordination Action. The Connected Factories project develops pathways towards advanced digitalization of manufacturing processes from different perspectives. Now, what is a pathway? Well, let me talk you through the current version of a pathway which focuses on digitalization within the so-called automation pyramid. We call this pathway the Autonomous Smart Factories pathway. I will tell you about other pathways later, but first let's focus on this pathway. A pathway is composed of different levels of digitalization that are associated to a number of milestones. These milestones indicate practices of digitalization that, while evolving to the right-hand side of the pathways, become more advanced. Ultimately, the milestones on the right fit within the vision of digital manufacturing within the scope of the automation pyramid. In the Autonomous Smart Factories pathway, level 1 reflects a situation that is still a reality in many manufacturing companies. Data acquisition on the shop floor is done predominantly manually, while spreadsheets and text editors are used to do enterprise resource planning, or ERP, and manufacturing operations management, or MOM, including scheduling, also referred to as MES. Level 2 involves the implementation of dedicated digital tools for doing ERP and MOM, while supervisory control and data acquisition solutions are implemented on shop floor level connected to sensors and actuators and other field devices via PLCs or industrial PCs. Level 3 focuses on the connection of ERP, MOM and SCADA PLC levels. This connectivity will increase the awareness of enterprise resource planning about the status and condition of manufacturing operations, such as possible delays due to breakdown or maintenance. This level includes the introduction of industrial connectivity approaches such as the use of industrial IoT, RFID, other wireless technologies or identification methods. In this level, the concept of cyber-physical systems is relevant, leading to a less hierarchical interpretation of the automation pyramid. By the way, this version of the pyramid was created by the Pathfinder project, another Factories of the Future PPP project. Level 4 focuses on the implementation of more advanced optimization approaches, either on factory level or on machine level. Another achievement in this level is the inclusion of humans in the digital information or connectivity loop. In level 5, optimization can be done in real time on factory or machine level. The deployment of digital platforms for manufacturing is situated on this level. This and other pathways should not be seen as cookbooks or strict recipes, where a milestone should be 100% fulfilled in order to progress to the milestones on the right. Milestones would rather be implemented partially in small pilot cases and there would be an iteration back and forth. Furthermore, it may be that a milestone is skipped while progressing to the right, meaning that a particular approach rendered a milestone irrelevant. Now let's take a step back. There are a lot of cross-cutting aspects that enable the implementation of the milestones, such as engineering skills and tools, and also skills that are required for operating and managing the digital systems and tools. Another important aspect is the value or benefit obtained while progressing towards the right-hand side of the pathway. For instance, the factory would gain responsiveness and speed, improved quality and reduced downtime, resource efficiency, etc. And these gains do not only apply to the milestones on the right-hand side, but also to the milestones that are situated on the left-hand side. These benefits will need to be compared to the financial resources or investment needed. From a more technical point of view, interoperability is extremely relevant. Not only since systems and tools will very likely come from different vendors, but also since many legacy systems have to be integrated. Security is a requirement that may become increasingly important while progressing on this pathway. In addition, many technological building blocks need to be put into place and need to be integrated. 
from data communication infrastructure, such as field buses, industrial wireless or cable networks, to data storage, simulation tools, high-performance computing, big data technologies, artificial intelligence, etc. In the Connected Factories project, we endeavor to cover all or at least the most important of these different aspects in what we call the Digital Mapping Framework. When considering specific milestones on a pathway, the Mapping Framework provides us with a structured set of aspects that requires our attention. You can find out more about this Mapping Framework on the Connected Factories web pages. After all, it is clear that concrete and inspiring examples and industrial cases are needed to show how milestones have been achieved. First, it is important to illustrate the current state of play in many manufacturing companies. Second, there are many commercially available solutions on the market that can be associated to practically all of the milestones on the pathway, even though some of these commercial solutions are still at the beginning of industrial implementation. Third, cases and demonstrators from research and innovation projects can be positioned on the pathways. These three kind of cases together will give us a clearer view of how the results of research projects are complementary to solutions that are already on the market and how big the gaps are with the industrial state of play. Now let's look at the outcome of a Factories of the Future project Far Edge and see how it relates to this pathway. Far Edge provides a blueprint solution for industrial automation based on edge computing and peer-to-peer -peer cooperation principles which emphasizes the use of blockchain technologies. There are three particular building blocks that we wish to highlight in this example and that are depicted by the three round icons. Decentralized automation, distributed analytics and simulation capabilities. The Farage platform unlocks three milestones on the pathway of autonomous smart factories associated to these three building blocks. At the factory level, it supports both offline and real-time optimization by enabling distributed analytics and improving simulation capabilities. In the FireEdge project, solutions for real-world use cases have been implemented in a production line for industrial vehicles, addressing problems like assembly time prediction and product sequencing. Moreover, the FireEdge platform supports machine-level real-time optimization by introducing decentralized automation. A complex wide goods logistics scenario is the Farage testbed of an advanced plug and produce solution where smart machines are autonomous actors in a collaborative product sorting process. Given the ambitious goals, the Farage project also provides migration strategies to guide manufacturing enterprises and in particular SMEs in their journey along the autonomous smart factories pathway. The Autonomous Smart Factories pathway focuses on digital connectivity and the associated optimization potential in the context of the factory floor. Of course, this factory floor is composed of manufacturing equipment or components in these machines that should be connected in order to make this factory floor digitalization work. Hence, the machines themselves should also evolve in order to provide data and in order to be able to act according to the incoming control signals. Currently, three pathways with a particular scope are being developed. Autonomous smart factories, the pathway that was the focus of this video. Hyperconnected factories, a pathway focusing on digitalization of value or supply networks. Collaborative product service factories, a pathway focusing on product service development. Actually, there is also a pathway in development focusing on security and manufacturing. More about that later. You can obtain more information about these pathways on the web pages of the Connected Factories project, which are embedded in the EFRA website. We are now calling for projects and initiatives, both on European level or national regional level, across different programs that address the digitalization of manufacturing. The aim is to describe these use cases and demonstrators on the EFRA Innovation Portal and position these cases within the pathways. Also, industrial cases that are associated to solutions that are on the market are welcome. This will make the pathways concrete and inspiring, and this will also help us to fine-tune the pathways. As said, more news will be provided through the Connected Factories web pages and media. 
We are looking forward to your feedback and contributions to the pathways.